Welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. I want to give a shout out to my boy Gator McCluskey for designing that intro that you just saw. He hooked me up with that. Great dude, Gator McCluskey. You can follow my Gator Sports, I think, on YouTube. Talented guy. I want to thank him for that. Um, all right, we're going to get into today's fight, which is for a Cruiserweight world title. Uh, Arson Goulam Goulamarian, I think I'm saying that right, uh, and Zoda Ramirez. Interesting fight. If there's anything worse than heavyweight boxing, obviously it's cruiserweight boxing. Um, but before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every major fight. Show you how to bring down the house and consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Um, losing my brain a little bit. Uh, also, join the Patreon. The link is in the description. Uh, the Patreon is $5, five hours a month. It gets you the lock of the week. It gets you all types of great stuff. It gets you a uh, free T-shirt. Um, I am losing my brain. Uh, ask the bookie anything, handicap any fight. I'll give it all to you. There's a ton of perks. It's five dollars a month. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Best way to support the show so I can do these full time and bring you as many videos as I can. Uh, also, subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's uh, Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, let's get into today's show. Um, Arson Gulamarian. Gula yeah, WBA Cruiserweight champ, long reign, reigning champ. Um, didn't fight much from 2019, or didn't fight from 2019 to 2022. He's been inactive. Um, he fought recently. Uh, this is card to try to showcase Zoto Ramirez and make him another division world champion. We're going to get into whether or not that's realistic, but before we do, um, let's get let's get into Glamirian. Uh, strongest out, big. Strong cruiserweight, strong body. You know, looks like a weightlifter type guy. We're gonna find out if that's gonna help him. Obviously, his plan is gonna be his his blueprint is gonna be to try to wear Zoto Ramirez down, who may not be a natural cruiserweight. Try to wear him down, try to break him down over time. Gulamarian doesn't move much. I don't think he's very athletic. He's shorter and sh short arm. Right, Ramirez is the taller, longer fighter. And you can tell Gulamarian isn't just short, he's short armed. He's got like a negative wingspan. He's pretty basic. He stands directly in front of you. It's jab, jab one, two. He seems to have decent pop. He's not hard to hit. He's not hard to find. He's kind of a statue in front of you. He's not very mobile. It's one of these guys, and you really, and he's been a long reigning champ. You just wonder how. Like, what am I missing in this guy? Throws a nice one-two. Like, he's basic one-two. Moves in, moves out. Walks you backwards. He's physically strong. But that, that's it. You know, once in a while, he'll mix in a three. But he's a pretty basic guy. Pretty accurate with his power shots. Decent volume. You know, he's not, he doesn't throw the volume that Ramirez does, but his volume is decent. He can, he can win rounds with that. I, I can see him winning rounds. His power is okay. I don't think he's, you know, he's not he's not devastating or anything like that. He fights on the inside mostly. It's where he wants to be. Uh, he throws a lot of things wide. You know, I'd rather just straight, straight. But, he, you know, he throws a lot wide. I just, I, I don't love it. He wants to be toe-to-toe. -to -toe. We're going to find out if, if he can do that and how Ramirez is going to respond to that. Good uppercut, good work on the inside. I just wish everything was straight. You know, so much is, is, is. he's going to be easy to hit. How's Ramirez's power going to be? We're going to we're going to get, we're going to start getting answers to questions about Ramirez as a cruiserweight. Swing, swings wild. He gets a little wild sometimes. He's basically looking to come forward and, and weigh you out, weigh you down. He's going to have, I think, a strength advantage and a size, a, a weight advantage, a functional weight advantage in the ring. We're going to see how that, how he can use that to wear down Gilberto Ramirez because he's otherwise a basic fighter and Ramirez is, is a more skilled operator. Let's get into Zoto Ramirez just a little bit. More mobile, pretty decent athlete. He's, he's a more athletic guy in the ring for sure. Taller, longer. His jab, the thing I don't like about Ramirez is he doesn't extend his punches, right? He kind of pulls them. He, sh he shorts arm, arm his punches, although he generates plenty of torque on it, which, which is interesting. He's sloppy. I mean, he's face burst. He gets tagged. 
but he's got a really solid chin. So, like, a lot of times his defense is his footwork and his chin. He moves well. He pivots well. But his face, he's just there to be hit. It's, it's, it's just you know, a lot of times he's hands down, chin, chin up, and it's just easy to be hit. He's got a much better hand speed, and that's going to be his thing. His hand speed and his foot speed is better. He's going to have to mix in shots, go to the body. He goes to the body really well, and then get out. You don't want to stand in with this guy because, I think, like I said, he's strong as hell, and he can wear you down, or at least he's going to try to. That's going to be his blueprint. You can't let him do that. You can't let him push you backwards. And a guy like Ramirez will go backwards. Lateral movement, don't, don't let this guy just wear you down. Gilberto mixes up the head and body really well. He's a terrific body puncher. He mixes things up. He uses his jab well to keep the distance, and that's going to be important in this fight. right? He needs to commit to that. I don't want him sitting in and exchanging and trading for 12 rounds. Although, you know, that's going to happen naturally with these two guys. It can't be his game plan. He's got to use he's got to use his speed, he's got to use his footwork, he's got to use his, his angles and move and use the ring. You know, don't just stand in front of this guy. He might be able to beat him that way, but it's his worst chance of beating him. His best chance is to use the jab, keep the distance, move, hit him to the body when you're in the inside and get out. Great pop specifically in his left hand. Really really good pop in his left hand. He's accurate with his power shots. He can control the distance, and, and that's where it's going to come down to. This is going to be a battle of terrain. <laughs> and Ramirez keeping at bay, and Higula Marion get on the inside. And we talked about having a straight, totally straight, hit him in the chest, hit him in the body, keep him at bay, really is, is what, uh, what Zordo has to do. Now let's take a look at the odds. Let's see how we're going to make money on this fight. This is a pretty good fight. <laughs> <coughs> To make money on. All right. Uh, Zoro Ramirez is minus 250. I, I think this is a little wide. I, I do think he's going to win the fight. We're not touching the over-under. If we were, I'd probably take the under. I think someone's getting knocked out in this fight. But we're going to leave that alone. We're just going to take Ramirez on the money line. Minus 250. A one-times bet is going to make us 40 bucks. We're going to lock in the profit on Ramirez. We're not going to get greedy. Gilberto Ramirez. I want to see something. Yeah, they don't even have a prop. Does the fight? There's usually a prop. Does the fight go the distance? They don't have it here. Which is good because I, I would. I'd be tempted to take no. The fight does not go the distance. I don't think this thing is going the distance, uh, but I, you know, I, I don't want to. I don't want to lead you astray. I, I like this thing to end in a stoppage, one way or the other. I, I think it's sort of Ramirez. We're going to tip us the one times bet, make forty bucks, a hundred dollar bet on Gilberto Ramirez, and that's it. And if we're locking our profit. We're going to take the money on, on Gilberto Ramirez, lock in the profit, and move on to the next one. Let me know what you guys think. I'll leave your thoughts, comments below. Remember, to join the Patreon. The link is in the description. Five dollars a month gets you locked of the week. Ask to bookie anything, handicap any single fight for you. Just let me know. Uh, this is going to be my last show of the week. I am going to Arizona for the uh, Oscar Valdez card. I will be at that. Other than that, um, join the Patreon, like and subscribe. Uh, it's March twenty eighth, twenty twenty four, from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. <laughs> Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.